Um, we actually just got back from the onsen, um, and this was the first onsen where every single person on our team went. Um, if you want to know more about the onsen, you can go ahead and Google it. Um, Wikipedia probably has a really great explanation page on what it is, um, but it's definitely a very cultural experience. Um, and I had, I was one of those people that hadn't gone, um, twice before when our team went. Um, and this time I decided to go because, I don't know, it, it was the last chance that our team was going to have to go. And so I finally decided that I was going to take one for the team and do it for the nations. Um, so we went and, um, I think it was... I, I'm glad that I did it. It was a good experience. Um, definitely uh, very Japanese, and I'm really glad I got to go. So at the prayer meeting we had the other night, uh, Pastor Kawaguchi asked us to um, explain the history of CBU and of ISP. So we did that, and we talked kind of about the application process and the training and the actual going. Um, and then at that meeting, he also got to share with us his heart for Otsuji, which is the place that we're at right now. And that was just ravaged by the tsunami, and he just really wants to minister to the people here, and he actually plans to establish a church here. So if you guys can be in prayer for that, that'd be awesome. Hey guys! So yesterday, some of the team had the opportunity to go to another onsen, and uh, after that, we all regrouped, and we went to Coco's, which was quite an experience because the menu was quite a bit different from the menu in America, but it was still good. And um, after that... We got ready for our concert at Misasawa Bible Baptist Church, and uh, the concert went really well. There were quite a few people there, and um, they were really into the music, and they really seemed interested in what we had to say to them about our testimonies. Afterwards, the pastor told us that there were about six or seven people there that had never attended his church before. So it was really great that our concert drew new people to his church, and hopefully they will stay there. Um, so keep that in your prayers that those few people will come back and attend church services there. And then that evening, we actually stayed um, upstairs at the church. And uh, we got up really early this morning to um, hit the road for the tsunami area. And um, that's where we are right now. So We were on our way to Osuji, which was where the disaster area is after the tsunami hit. And we visited a pastor and his family. They're the only believers in their entire area of 6,000 population, we came to their church location where they worship and sang a short concert, 15 minutes long. They invited some neighbors, and it was really exciting because all four, maybe six were there, none of them were saved. And so to be able to encourage them and help kind of uh, jumpstart their ministry was really exciting. And I believe that he and his wife and two children were encouraged by us being there. The, we could tell that those that showed up were uh, very touched because they ran to the store before we left and brought us some uh, unique dessert for that community specifically. So really good, and I hope you guys are continually praying for us because that church needs it, and so do we. All right, bye. Today we also went to a uh, middle school, and at the middle school we actually performed a concert for them, and this was a huge miracle because it was a public junior high school, and it was amazing just to see um, that we were able to do a concert for about 200, almost 300 kids, and it was, it was crazy. Um, the kids had a ton of fun, and uh, we were a little bit nervous, but in all we just, we just gave it our all, and it was a great time. And after we handed out our testimonies, which was just really cool, and the kids were super excited to receive them, uh, me and Crystal actually got to sing uh, the Pokemon theme song in English for them. It was kind of a little surprise, but we did it, and it was a ton of fun. So um, I hope that you guys are continually praying for us, for us. We really appreciate it, and we hope to see you guys soon. So after the concert today at the middle school, they wanted to give a presentation to thank us for coming and singing for them. So um, one of the girls in the middle school came up and spoke to us in front of all of her classmates. And she said how thankful she was for our support, that we would come to their school and sing for them and do a concert for them and just encourage them. 
And um, she also told us that their choir is doing a competition soon and that they will use a lot of what they learned from us in their competition and that they really gained a lot from the experience of hearing us sing for them. But the really cool thing she said was that she had only heard the gospel one other time and it was from the movie Sister Act. And she said that, um, that we presented it in a much better way for her. And so it was really neat to know that we planted a seed in her and that we shared the gospel in a different way for her to understand. And hopefully um, that was the case with a lot more of the students. Thank you. After we met the students, we went into Principal Suzuki's office and he gave us some information and a short presentation on the tsunami that hit two years ago. In the presentation, there were pictures and videos and statistics about the tsunami. It was really heartbreaking because a lot of the students, more than half of the students that were in the auditorium that we were singing in, have experienced loss and grief, um, and they lost their belongings, they lost their parents and their relatives, and it was really hard to sit through that for the entire team. Um, Principal Suzuki was really encouraging. He does a lot of encouraging stuff for the students, and it's really great to see the students still smiling and still finding ways to be happy. A lot of them participate in school-wide events and sports and choral groups, so it was really encouraging to see that. Um, please continue to pray for them as they're still going through a difficult time. Tonight we are staying at the uh, Otsuchi Community Center in the temporary housing. And we are going to try to get up at early tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. so that we have a seven-hour drive to get to Shinkoya. And then get ready for another concert at 5 p.m. tomorrow in Funabashi. Then Sunday morning we will sing one more time at the church service and head on to the train station so that we can make it to the airport. Goodbye.